Hello everyone. Today I want to go over a pitfall in data initialization in Blazor components. So I have a parent component, which is the index component and an employee detail component right here. Okay. The parent component is using the employee detail component to di display the details of the, the employee and the employee is initialized uh, or loaded in the parent component. And I'm hard coding the employee here to mimic the situation that we're loading this comp this uh, employee. And each employee uh, actually has a bunch of records to be loaded. Uh, once we go into the employee detail component, this employee is, the records of the employee is loaded. So, uh, if we look at this code, we have all initialized here in the child component and also all initialized here in the parent component. And if we run this, there's going to be no problem. Right? So let's demonstrate that. As you can see, the home page is loaded with the employee detail. There's no problem. Nothing is wrong with this, uh, but it actually has a potential issue. What if this employee is loaded uh, slowly? There's some kind of network slowness or a lot of data needs to be loaded uh, so let's use the sleep method to mimic that scenario so let's go back and refresh the page okay still no problem you know, we never get away and never get back uh, it takes five seconds right four five right so five five seconds to load it but there's no problem right but but the potential problem is that sometimes you, you, you have to load these in asynchronous version of the initialization or uh, in some other lifecycle event, right? So instead of using the, um, the synchronous version, you may have to use the asynchronous version. So let's demonstrate that. So instead of using this, if I use this kind of code here, right? And then if we use this asynchronous version here as well, then let's refresh the page. All right, there's no problem if we really never get back. Still no problem, right? That's because this is actually called first, right? And then the initialized methods in the child component called secondly afterwards. So what if we add that uh, sleep uh, thread back, right? So what if we have a method like this in our parent component we're using we're using a way task run to mimic a uh, asynchronous call and then uh, we use the sleep five for five seconds to mimic a long running process here and let's refresh the page and see what happens in this case All right so it throws the exception complaining about the object references now which happens in this Place. Low, uh, the employee is now when the low records is being called. So that throws the exception. How should we deal with this kind of situation? Right? I would suggest that that we first uh, we need to call the, we always check whether the object that we're trying to deal with is null or not null. We need to do the null check, null reference check. And then also uh, instead of using uninitialize, we should use, I suggest that we use on parameter set because it's always called when parameter is changed. Um, and then inside here, we have to uh, check the reference as well because we don't want to load the records over and over again, right? Whenever there is a change, uh, unless that's something that you intend to do. So in this case, we will see that if we refresh the page, then it's going to be fine, except that it takes five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right, never get away, never go back. Two, three, four, five. So this is what I want to cover for today. If you like my videos, please give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next episode. Thank you.